Whoa. It was at this moment that he knew. He f up. Big no ma'am. No ma'am. What's up, y'all? Girls going. I guess it's low key a hike. But, baby. Yeah, I saw the sign, bitch. Beware of the fucking alligator. So I'm looking down every second. <laughs> But yes, y'all, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day in the A, aka Alabama. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just on this walk. Um, let me set my watch real quick. But yeah, I'm just gonna do a little walk and around here probably try to get like three, three or four miles in, then go to the gym, and then I will start the rest of my day. So yeah, I'll be back. I'll probably get a little clips in here. I gotta take my sister over here, y'all, because I don't think she ever been out here on like the trail, so we're gonna see. Bye. It's so pretty. Yeah, I bring my sister out here. Mm. Wait a minute, my hair's on the thing. Baby, it's a skin for me. And the clavicle. <laughs> Y'all didn't know I knew nothing about that, did you? Yeah, I know. I know what a clavicle is, too. But, yeah, y'all. This trail is so freaking nice. I'm surprised, like, I haven't... I didn't find it sooner. Because I used to go all the way, like, to the trail. It was, like, 10 miles. Not 10 miles. Like, 20 minutes from my house, for real, for real. And I could have been coming right over here and this shit like two minutes away when I get on the boulevard. So, a bit disappointed. A bit disappointed, but uh, it's okay. So, because I found it now. And yeah, we're going to keep going here until I get ready to leave, you know? Let's see. But yes, yeah, it's so beautiful. But. I'm gonna check back in with y'all. I think I'm at, I don't know, 1.36 miles now. So, I'm trying to get to three. I should be at three by the time I get back over to the other side to my car. So, we'll see. All right, y'all, this is what I did today. Your girl got in like 433 calories off that. Um, of those miles, let's see, 53 minutes. Y'all, so my hands actually so in order. 7,000 steps, 3.51 miles, period. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. I'm gonna go to the gym real quick. I wanna get in like some upper body, some upper body stuff. <laughs> and I think, well, a lot of it. Let me drink this water. I don't want to drink too much water because I got to pee. But, let's try right there. But, yeah, yeah, I'm finna um, go ahead and head over there to the gym and I'll clock back in with y'all when I get there. So, bye. Okay, y'all, I'm done. This is what I did in the gym so far, plus whatever I did. Damn, y'all cannot see me. <laughs> plus whatever I did, like, on the three miles. So I'm done for the day. I'm tired as fuck. And I'm finna go home. So y'all give me something to eat, so. Bye. Okay. So. Bitch, I mean this damn stuff. I shouldn't have came in here. I'm gonna get either one of these. I don't know which one yet, but I'm gonna walk around and. Yeah, I have a problem. I'm gonna stop getting shit. To oh, that's cute. Oh, 
Damn. <laughs> yeah, I tried to start this video like I don't know how many times, but what's up, baby? So I got the pack. I had to go in the um my favorite store back there. You see it? You see it? But um, <laughs> damn, this shit won't stay up. It's held up against my little Obama bobblehead thing. But I'm trying to keep it up just for like a couple seconds. But yes, y'all, just left up out of um Bobolo, my favorite favorite store ever. Fine thing, you know. I got these little earbuds because I'm tired of um, using my ones that has like the strings on there, but in the gym. But I love those so much because they be loud. Like they way better than like AirPods or some shit like that to me. So I be I be preferring to use those. Let me take this hoodie off because it's it's messing up like my stilo. But um, you don't see me. I look a mess, but it's okay. I don't care. I just came from the gym, baby. Y'all know the tea. Y'all know the vibes. You know the vibes. Okay. But yes, y'all. Um, I just came from Dollar Tree. Not damn, not Dollar Tree. Fablo. And I got some earbuds. I, um, I really like the earbuds. The earbuds are pretty cool. Um they they kind of on the loud side but you can still kind of hear which is effective when you out walking because you know you don't want to be having like loud blaring music and then fucking jeepers creepers come snatch your ass up or something so i got that and i also got like a little camera charger and i think this is a one i'm going to test it out right now and see and um also i got like, this little cute little sports bra thing um from um in there and i think it, i thought it was so adorable it was only five dollars of course and they i had i had like two from here before and they i still have them now i got them like like since when i was in college i was like two years ago so um and it probably wasn't even my senior year when i got them and of course i got um me some double mint gum because i love to chew gum when i'm at the gym for some reason they just help my endurance and I had to treat myself, y'all. I don't care. Because if I was to, like, be on, like, a strict, 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 strict diet, then I'd be miserable. And I would definitely, like, turn to a binge eating in, like, three seconds. Okay? So, these are my favorite things that I get. It's, like, these Lint Hello Strawberry Cheesecake Bars. They so mother good. Okay? They so good. Here they go. Can I see them? Yeah, but um, they so good, y'all. I love to get these, and I be eating. I'm gonna eat one. I think it's like 210 calories in the whole thing. Serving size one stick amount per serving. Uh, two ten. So I'm guessing this whole thing is two ten. So. Even if it ain't, I don't care. Because I'm hungry. I haven't ate nothing all day besides like four oranges. And I love chocolate. So this is one thing I allow myself to have. I don't eat it every day though. It's just like, you know, every now and then. And so, yeah, I was in this damn store. And I saw this guy, right? I was, but we was both over there looking at like the the headphones and stuff like that so he was cute as fuck but like, i'm not even i'm not gonna hold you he was um i don't think was he was like a little bit shorter than me or like my height i don't know because i'm a tall girl like i'm like five eight almost five nine so he was a little bit shorter than, well he was like my height i feel like i don't know he was like my height i don't know but she he had the mask on but you can tell he was still fine so like I I had like stepped back, I almost stepped into him. And then um I was like, Oh my god, excuse me. And then he was laughing. He was like, Oh no, you good, you good. He was like got entangled or some shit. He said he tried to say some little joke and I like laughed and I like walked away. But oh my god, I used to be the type of girl like if someone and I could tell he was trying to flirt with me. But I used to be the type of girl and if like he if a boy was trying to like flirt and stuff like that, like and he had like he didn't want to you know say something first i step down you know what i'm saying because i'm i just 
I always am real confident like that. Like I feel like I can pull anybody I want. You know what I'm saying? So I used to like be the type of girl who would step down on the boy if I see them and I think that they're cute or whatever. But um I don't know. I didn't do it. Like I don't know why. Because okay, I know exactly why. The last my last relationship, it I pulled him. You know what I'm saying? Like I saw him like and my last relationship was like five, shit, what? When was 27? It was like 2017, 2018, something like that. So it was like 2017. It ended like September or something like that in 2017. And it was like 18, 19, 20. We in 2021 now. So that was like four years ago. And, um, girl. It was almost four years ago. I don't know. Hey, I'm doing, I don't feel like doing the math, but. It was three plus years ago, put it that way. And I pulled him, like, I was driving through, well, I saw him, like, twice earlier that day. It's a long story. But I had saw him twice earlier that day. And I looked at him, I was like, damn, he's kind of fine. But I just kept on walking, you know what I'm saying? Because I was, like, I was in a rush both times when I saw him. So I couldn't say anything. And then, um... And then when I saw him, like, the third time, that was when I was going back to my apartment complex. And he rode the shuttle. Because we our apartment used to have, like, shuttles that take you to and from campus or whatever. Because it was, like, student apartments. And you could take, like, the um, the shuttle to and from campus. I just saw a guy open up with his girlfriend. That was so cute. But, um, yeah, I saw... It was, like... Okay. He was getting out the shuttle. Because, you know, I, I already explained what the fuck the shuttle was. Because I be over explaining this stuff sometimes. Because I be forgetting what I be finna say. But I saw him walking. And he was walking, you know. And I turned the corner. I turned the corner and I rolled the window down. And I was like, he had like these little shorts. And it was like, you know, above his knee. <laughs> it was it was a cute. Like, he was just like real cute and confident to me. Like, I just, when I saw him, I just saw a guy who looked like he was like hella confident. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you got to be confident if you wear some shorts like the shorts he was fucking wearing. And I thought that was cute. So, I rolled by. I had my shades on. I had my lip gloss on. I had my damn bob, honey. And I remember the exact day. I remember everything I had on. Like, I was cute as fuck. Just know I was, like, naturally cute that day. So, then he pulled up. Well, no, I pulled up on him. And I was like, I rolled him one down. And I was like, you look good in them shorts. And then he started laughing. He was like, oh, my God. He was like, thank you. <laughs> and it was so damn funny, y'all, because, like, I was going to pull off. And he was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. And, like, he kind of, like, flagged my car down. And then he uh, stopped the car and got my number. And then ever since then, like, every single day since then, we was, like, hanging out together and talking. And <laughs> probably <laughs> it's a long story i ain't gonna get into like all the other details if y'all want to hit the story time just let me know but yeah i pulled him or whatever basically long story short but that relationship ended fucking terrible your honor yeah he's terrible your honor I'm, i've been kind of scarred from that because that was my longest relationship ever it was like the one of he was like the second guy i ever really took serious because i used to be kind of like not saying I was like a dog or whatever, but I used to really be ready to snip snip in two seconds and then not give a fuck. So, um it was it was kinda it was real different for me. I really put a lot into the relationship and I feel like I didn't get shit back for real. But you know, of course I got like up like material things, but as far as like <sighs> mentally and emotionally I was it, that shit drained me, and I was I wasn't I wasn't right again for like a whole year after that because just because like it was my it was one of my first like real relationships, so that shit really scarred me or whatever, and um I don't know ever since then like I I haven't been not saying I haven't been confident but like it just it's just like a fear of like not wanting it to be what it was before in that particular relationship you know what i'm saying like i don't want to damn replay you know i'm stepping down nigga and it this shit end up like going sour you know what i'm saying like it was real you know we had good times or whatever but when i think about the relationship i i can remember more bad than good you know what i'm saying because we moved hella fast like 
he was introducing me to his friends like the second week we met you know so it was real it was real crazy it was real it, we moved real 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 fast and i don't know i that kind of made me think like i don't think i want to you know talk to a guy first if he want to get with me then he'll he'll holler at me or whatever but yeah i don't know if i should start back doing that but then a, a part of me I always be thinking like if a dude really wants you he'll say something to you first you know what i'm saying so i don't know i'm gonna think about it i i just but i don't think i'm really gonna do that no more for real for real because i just don't want the, no situation like my last situation and then i just i don't know i'm tired of bullshit y'all like i'm tired i'm tired of the bullshit tired real tired because it's just been i don't know it'd be draining relationships are draining for me so i, I want to focus on my career and myself because i'm really i'm really like getting into my career a lot and figuring out like which lane i want to be in and stuff like that a nigga is distracting for me like i don't know about nobody else maybe other people can like function but when i begin with a nigga like I be wanting to be with them all the time. Well, I be, I don't, it don't really be me wanting to be with them all the time. I just be wanting to, like, <laughs> I be wanting to, like, bang all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-uh. Um, I be distracted by the D word, you know? So, I don't know. The best thing for me right now is to be celibate and to be, like, just to myself and focusing on my career and myself because i've been at the most peace i have been ever in my life and it's just yeah it's going up from here you know it's gonna be up and then gonna be stuck you feel me but anyway that was my little spill for today um yeah i don't think i'm not i don't i, I was i say i don't think i'm ever like step down on the um on a dude ever again but Never say never, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just see a guy, you just be like, if I don't say that now, I ain't gonna, I probably not never see this this dude again. And this be my husband, you know what I'm saying? And like, he fine as hell, you know, whatever. But we'll see. If it's meant to be, I be, I, that's what, that's what, be, that be crazy with the things about me. Like, I be thinking like, damn, if it's meant to be, it'll be. Cause like, the first two times I saw him, I saw him twice a day, and I had never seen this thing before. Like the whole time I had been in UA, I had never seen him, and I saw him twice earlier that day. And then the third time, I saw him the third time, and he ended up staying in my apartment complex in the building right behind me. You know what I'm saying? That was fucking crazy to me. And I was like, shit, it must be like a third time's a charm or some shit like that. So I went ahead and said something to him, and I got him, and we was together for like ten months. I know, child, don't think like baby, but ten months? That's your longest relationship? Yes, because I be cutting these niggas off and I don't be caring, okay? I don't care. Okay? But, yeah, that's my longest relationship. It's draining the fuck out of me. Never do it again. Zero out of ten. I'm just like, it was zero out of ten, but when I think back, a lot more negative than it was positive. Even though I did really care about him. But I don't think he really loved me. And, it, um, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I learned from this situation and I grew a lot. I was I'm, I've been single ever since then, and I've been happy as fuck. Like I've been so content with myself, you know. Of course, I still think about it every now and then because I be feel like I I be feeling real. I was I felt real slighted. And that's a whole another story, you know what I'm saying? Like how I ended and shit like that. If that one another story, like I said comment down below like the video do whatever you gotta do let me know that you want me that you want me to tell the story time but yeah that's the tea anyway i think i waited too late because i wanted to go to the car wash because this shit got piling all over it i stay in the south and y'all know how that shit is in the south you walk out your car black and you walk out the door your shit yellow because it's full of fucking piling <laughs> oh, I fucking master P with these damn glasses. Okay. Do you hear me? But anyway, I'm back on the pot of here. And I think, I'm thinking about if I want to stop and get something to eat or just go ahead and go home and make me something. I'm thinking the, the latter. 
if I do stop and get something, it'll be something that's like real small. Like, I want like a little chicken wrap. I never forgive McDonald's for taking the damn snack wraps off the menu. Oh, oh, I could just spit. I'm so mad. I never forget that ass for that because that's just crazy to me. Like, why would you take the best thing on your menu off the menu? Like, what's 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 given? Like, what's your problem? You know, like, I just don't understand that. I feel like <laughs> Maybe that's my sign that I need to shut the hell up and close and turn this video off. But I'll let y'all know what I decide to do. And I love y'all. Bye. Without you all around me Get anxious Leave me Don't look back I don't wanna keep no ultimatum If you wanna come lay up If you wanna come stay I got my little salad on the side. I got turkey bacon, bacon bits, and croutons, and red pepper flakes on spinach. Oh, and, and the dressing that I use is like Skinny Girl Italian dressing. Yes, baby, I use styrofoam. This is what I'm drinking. It's my favorite drink tea right now. Well, it's my favorite drink right now. Honestly, all I drink is green tea and water. So, yeah, that's what I'm drinking. Wow. I crust, of course, and this sauce is like um, a Chipotle just like a regular little chipotle sauce. And I put some red pepper flakes on top of my pizza. As y'all can tell, baby, I love spice. Okay, period. Bye.